Air and Water Part 1 Atmosphere The thick layer of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere. It extends from the surface of earth to hundreds of kilometers above it. The atmosphere is held around the earth due to the gravitational force exerted by earth. There are five layers of atmosphere. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Troposphere Troposphere is the first or lowermost layer of the atmosphere where we live. It extends up to 15 km above the surface of the earth. The troposphere contains about 75% of all the air in the atmosphere. All weather changes take place in this layer. Stratosphere This is the second layer which extends from 15 km to 50 km above the earth's surface. The air in this layer is less dense than in the troposphere. The ozone layer that absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun is located in this layer. Jet planes usually fly in this layer. Mesosphere It is the layer of atmosphere above the stratosphere which extends from 50 km to 80 km above the earth's surface. Most meteoroids that enter the earth's atmosphere slow down and burn up in this layer. Thus, we are saved from their impact on Earth. Such meteoroids that burn up in the atmosphere are not able to reach the Earth's surface called meteors. Thermosphere This is the fourth layer of the atmosphere which extends from 80 km to 500 km above the Earth's surface. Space shuttles orbit in this layer. Ionosphere is a part of the thermosphere. We can listen to radio programs because of ionosphere. Exosphere This is the fifth or outermost layer of the atmosphere. It extends from about 500 km to the outer space. The air is very thin in this layer. Beyond the exosphere is a vast empty space. There is no air in space beyond exosphere. Why is the atmosphere essential? The atmosphere sustains life on earth by providing oxygen for breathing. It also provides carbon dioxide to the plants for making food. The ozone layer in the atmosphere absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun and prevents them from reaching us. It helps in maintaining the right amount of heat on earth. It absorbs excessive heat of the sun so that the earth does not get overheated during day. The atmosphere helps in recycling water through the water cycle. The atmosphere prevents meteoroids from hitting the surface of earth. Thank you.